As you remember maybe from the previous videos in Climate Studio, we are running this analysis based on sensors, right? And this same logic is very valid for Honeybee as well. So we have to be compiling our model uh, in a way that we can create some sensors underneath it. So we need to have kind of like points that are going to be behaving as sensors so that we can receive light on those sensors. To do so, what we need to do, we need to, we can do a couple of things, but if I go back to my radiance model here, basic properties, this is the place where we are going to create our uh, grid. So grid meaning points. We can have honeybee sensor grid or we can have honeybee sensor grid from rooms. So we are going to have our rooms, right? Our rooms is going to be basically, this is our room. Right? And when I connect this, it's not going to give me anything, right? Why? Because we don't put any grid size. So if we pull out a grid size of 0.5 meters, what we are going to see here. So you see, we are starting to have some points, but you see the points has some distance from the floor. And this is, again, can be remembered from our honey ladybug simulations. But distance from floor, it's you see the default is 0 0.8, which is quite okay. But 0 0.7, 0 0.752, if I'm not mistaken, is the correct value or the most common value. Quad only meaning quad, meshing only uh, quads, remove out. It's going to check if there are any points that are falling out of our volume is going to be called wall offset is an interesting one so as an example if you put this in you see it's going to be offset it from the wall it's two meters the value that can be used for this is 0 0.5 usually from the offset of the walls right and this is the grid and we have done our we are we created our grid already right so we'll be putting this grid in and the next thing that is asking for us is actually the model. And if I come over here again for my honeybee model, honeybee uh, tab, and what we are going to see is uh, not this one, not that one either. So I think this one, right? So it's going to be uh, it's going to be a model, right? So we need to create a model. So honeybee model. And we feel connect our honeybee model to like our rooms are going to be this time uh, is going to be this honeybee objects because we are connecting honeybee objects here uh, as our rooms. Or I mean, we can do the same thing for this one as well. You see, it's going to create the same thing. And for the next, we are going to put the shades. And this is going to be our model. And when we connect this, we are created our model here as an unnamed model, all right? And if we obviously like test model this as a name, which we have here, we'll be having the name as test name. We use our, something that we don't need to worry about right now because it's needed for particular in that type of analysis. And one thing I want to show you here is the visualize. So if I come over here to visualize and if I say uh, honeybee visualize wireframe, if I connect this in, and if I preview everything else off, let's see what we are seeing. You see now, I am having the thickness of the windows outside, which is defined here, actually. You see, it's going out can go in and out. So if we convert this into indoor, if we take a Boolean toggle and then connect it here, it's not going to change anything. And it's now putting it inside. All right. So 0 0.20 is OK for this. 0 0.1 or 2 is OK for this, all right, for this simulation. And the next thing that we can check here is basically, but we see this, but we don't see any colors, right? And anything that we are changing here is going to be affecting it. So this is the west facade that we are having. So if I say west facade, I'll have only five windows. Okay. And maybe 
with three parts this is something i want okay so we can perceive it that everything follows to it right but as i said it's not showing us the colors and if i come over here and if i say visualize by type it will automatically gonna give us the meshes within a system of colors right so now i can see that we are having this like values here inside you see the walls are yellow, the roof is colored red or something as such, and the windows are blue, and so on and so forth. So this is important, but in the meantime, what you can do here is, if you type visual, visualize all, we can visualize this all, but we visualize it in Grasshopper, okay? And you can check this, like you can check a bunch of other options here as well. Honeybee display name, you see simulation name, like exposed area. These are the room attributes if you want to use those. Okay. Uh, bunch of bunch of other types of like honeybee color room, honeybee room attributes or honeybee rooms model. So if I connect this model here and pull out uh, this guy over here, what this does is basically showing us the display as an attribute to the name of it the multiplier as a story non volume it gives us the volume exposed area exposed area aperture area like exterior window area it gives us this type of information as well so if i preview this on and now uh, i just create this visualization for my model so that is pretty much it for this video in the next video, I'll be showing you how to run the simulation within this, with this, with this information given.